Tell me when to go, baby. I didn't even check to see what episode this was. We were close. We were, we were getting close to the hundred mark. And Let's then check. what? And then just an impromptu, uh, <laughs> impromptu little break. Welcome back to the alley. It's been a been a couple months. I think people thought Dude, we were it done. Been two months. I think it's been like two months. Well, I don't know how long have, were you unemployed for, Foo? Three weeks, almost four. So that's a whole month. And then we did. Like two weeks that I started working, remember? Yep. Oh my what god. What episode is this actually? Like this is now now I'm like ninety eight? Ninety eight? No, no way. No. Ninety nine. No, 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 no. Yes it is. It's lower than that. Watch, I'm about to check right now. Sheesh. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ninety nine. Episode. We are the fuck how do i even okay so I... oh we have to hit episodes and then click edit we are on oh shit you're oh shit this is 99 <laughs> <laughs> god damn oh shit that's kind of uh, that's kind of lame we should have left off on 99 and then that would have been when we come back that would have been cool but you know just just like the story of us bro we can never fucking Nail, nail the timing. Jesus Christ. Well, welcome back, guys. Well, we're back. Uh, like Hyder said, we took some time off. I was going through it. I was in the ringer, Loki getting washed. Uh, but now we're here, bro. I got a job. It's with Hyder and Mo and Mo and Sterling. Who's and also everyone, <laughs> everyone that you guys have seen before. Now the I'm crew. working with the, with the whole crew. And Donovan. That's, that's been actually Nate. cool. I don't want to talk about work. Yeah, no, no, Work's no, no, fucking no. boring, but uh, working with like the, that crew and those people, it, it makes it a little bit better. So that's good. Yeah, it's a cool. Crew. I'm happy. It's a cool crew. Um, before we before we get get into deeper, because I do want to talk. I, I want to talk about the slums for a little bit. It, it was bad. It was rough there for a minute. The like not even like well, fi- like financially too, asking people for money. You know, like when it comes to the like nitty gritty bullshit of it. It gets tough out there. I feel bad for like people that actually, you know, are in those sort of situations because it's rough. It's rough out there. There was like, I had like I think two weeks that we didn't have groceries, like type B. And Adrian helped, but Adrian was helping like with the fucking rent, which is like a big ass load just for him to take care of him. <laughs> Pause. Damn. For him to handle by himself, you know. So shout out Adrian too. And then the the kind of the cock tease of it all when you when you do get a job, you have to wait till you're done training to start getting money. Dude, I know. And then the, yeah, that's a whole nother like week, you know, that of of struggling. Luckily, I got um money during like one of your training. Oh, from the the whole four hundred one k bullshit from my last job. Yeah, and then so that so that kind of kept me afloat, put me back on my feet. With that, I was able to finally do my taxes. The taxes hit. Hey, real fast at that. Yeah. Even, even it being so late, you know? Shout you know, out Larry. Like an extension or whatever here. Yeah. Shout out to Mr. Larry Taxes. Shout out Larry, bro. God. Hit God amongst all man. your tax needs and anything, any other needs. <laughs> and tell him that we sent you because then we yeah, get. Tell him that we sent you. <laughs> bro, I love. Oh, dude, I actually do love that guy. I love how he responds. Would he respond to you at like one in the morning? No, really? Oh, dude. There was multiple times he like texts me like. Random as hell. 1 30 a.m. Like, oh, hi, with like 20 eyes. Like, oh, your taxes, like, your taxes are submitted, or I am looking at them, blah, blah, blah. Or like at 11 p.m. Like, I was, I was never business hours when he would text me. I thought it was, I thought it was hilarious. You know, Becca and Dom go, go with him too. It's like, he's like an industry Wait, they went there, God. like, without you connecting? Dom did. And then you, I, Becca, like, knew it? about him, but then I told her that I, I, do it with him too and that's now she's bro. doing it with him too that's a crody <laughs> he's a fucking legend bro here, uh, here in San Diego that's funny shout out Larry okay so Miguel let's play a little I'm gonna try to pull a little uh, 
We're gonna do a little ther- mock therapy session. I don't see how this ends Fuck, up, dude. Okay. We didn't even talk about Ryder. I haven't even mentioned Ryder. Oh yet. Jesus Christ! That was Go a dark, that was a dark month. Yeah, we'll, we'll fucking a. Okay, April we'll, sucked. We'll get April into 2024 that. is gonna Jesus. be one for the, like I'm always gonna remember. Jesus you know? Christ! That's gonna be your, the name of your first album, 424. It's gonna be one of the chapters in my book. E- Fresh. April, yeah, that's crazy. Um, I what? Just give me a give me ten words that you're feeling or how i felt just just no not even felt just at, right now just the first 10 words that come to your mind okay here wait let me write them down you're gonna write them down yeah i'm gonna write them down is this a and thing this, this is, is a, a thing this isn't well it might be a thing this is no tiktok like i oh I th- you just come in, came I, up with this? this is me just cold cocking it okay cool um uh, can i start yeah go ahead take your time anxious Damn. april was full of lots of anxiety stress Jesus. That's two different things. I feel like people intertwine those things all the time. Uh, Don't think too hard, bro. Like, if you think titty, just say the word titty. Oh, okay. You know what I mean, like, that kind of, like... Okay, uh, video. Okay. Movie. That's four. Friends. Family, too. Uh, love. Damn. Sex. Obvious. Sick. Health. Okay, there you're done. Is that ten? Yes, bitch. You didn't give me a lot to work with. This is all. That's very... all April, bro. Jesus Christ. That was what April was. This is April, huh? God damn. Honestly, on on, on the typing, it just kind of does a little like a little peaks and valleys. <laughs> really? Hey, that's kind of look at that shit. Like the friends and family right after the other, and that's like a little high point, and then it just kind of goes down, and then it kind of picks back up. I like that. Are we doing? It? I'm gonna do it with you too, right? Um, I mean, you can. I was just, I was gonna try to pull like some goofy shit out of this, but honestly, it's, <laughs> it's not goofy at all. It's not, it's, it's nothing I could really joke about here. Like I was hoping, like you said, it was like, tough, bro. Guys. I know. Jesus Christ, I don't like talking about it, and I. Like even with them, you Damn. know, it would be more like um like surface level shit when we would and we joke around so much. Oh my god, I was getting roasted. Oh, Although unemployment too. jokes are crazy. Uh, but my favorite one was Danny. <laughs> it was a uh, it was Danny in the group chat where oh man, um, you where you said it? no 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 yeah I can. <laughs> That was that was definitely the best one, man. It was like a tag team, him and Manny on you, but Danny's was like the chair. Like that was great. He said, uh, "Cause you, I forget what was the point. You had already gotten. Was high. I talking shit? No, not really. You, so you had already you had already gotten a job at that point, and um, so you you said something. I don't know why you. That's what you responded, but you said you guys need to stop dreaming and like start oh, making real money or something. The money, yeah. Like you <laughs> you, the you were just fucking around. It was like a lighthearted <laughs> joke. And then, uh, fucking Danny's like, bro, you've been sleeping for a whole month or some <laughs> shit. Oh, or no. You, you've been we dreaming. We were talking about sleeping and being yeah, lazy. Sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you said you've been dreaming like, you for- you need to stop dreaming. No, because Danny, Danny brought up a dream that he had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I was like, you guys need to stop dreaming and wake up and get to the bag or chase the bag. And he's like, motherfucker, this whole past month, you've been oh, that's all you've been doing is sleeping and fucking dreaming. That's crazy. But the way he hit it, yeah. It, that shit was hard. So that, shit was, dying, that shit was insanely hard. So like to go back to that, just we were I mean, joking, like like we always do, bro. We never take anything serious, like our friend group specifically. And I feel like I, I hate to admit it, but I feel like I the way I maneuver through like my emotions and shit is through like just jokes and trying to like ignore it all the time, bottling it up. It's bad. What is that even? There's a term for that, right? Um, it's a, it's a defense, probably a defense mechanism. So some kind. So yeah, that's how I kind of approach stuff. But then it was like. But yeah, these like these foods and my and my family got me through it, so it was good, and I'm grateful for them. Um, and then obviously, and then, oh, and then but like there was like some fun shit in there too. Like we went to Disney. Shout out Emily and Marie. Emily bought me my ticket to Disneyland, which was a very. It was like you lucky had there. like a mini like a mini Make a Wish period. <laughs> because people feel bad for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking comedy. Um, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Mother's Day was a dude. I've never that that was the poorest Mother's Day ever. We went to the Padres game. It was great. We won. Beat the Dodgers. Like I said, there's lots of ups and downs throughout this whole these past couple months. And yeah. and I'm glad we're we're back doing this because I right. feel like this. And 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 locking in and like spending time with editing and stuff like does take your mind off shit. Keep, it keeps you busy. Yeah, R.I.P. Writer. 
Uh, rest uh, in by peace, the way, see another down. God damn rest it. in peace. The uh, my dog, my dog yeah, ever. like my childhood dog. We got him like what ten years. He was gonna be ten yeah. this year. Uh, we had to put him down in in, in April to towards the end God of the damn, month. Dude, that was tough. He's always he's he's always been sick, so it was just time. You know, he was getting old, and we couldn't do we couldn't take it no more. Um, God damn, what a couple months, huh? That was tough. I didn't cry. We I was out all day trying to figure out what to do with him because we were gonna like. Leave him at the shelter too, see if that was an option. But then we ended up coming to that. And then, but by that time, when we figured out what we had to do, I was just with Jazzin all day. My mom and then Junior got out of work and school. And then we all went together, you know? And um, that was tough seeing them because they like started crying. And you I don't know, even I know like, if I told you this, but my cousin Wilder's dog actually, uh, shout out Nala RIP, passed Otamina? away a week after Ryder. Really? Also a husky. She just, she just passed though? Her shit. Yeah. Like literally, she died. Like, yeah, she died. So she, from what he uh, told me, um, or from what I heard, she got like the, you know, like the zoomies, she uh, got yeah. hyper and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like, she was just, she old? She just like collapsed like ten minutes later. She was younger than our dogs. Um, yeah. She probably had like a heart condition or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was literally like, bro, within like the next, like week. And then she just passed. That's after sad. you. Yeah. Rest in peace. What was her name? Nala. That's a good Nala. Like cool name. Yeah, like from Lion King. Was she a husky? Also a husky. Yes. Damn. We never got to pair her and blew up. R.I.P. Yeah, so shout out Wolfie, bro. Shout out Ryder. We'll miss him. My mom was sad. But yeah, now we're here. They have dogs at the house still, you know? <laughs> There's always a dog at the fucking house. My tia has a dog. My grandma has a dog, so they're fine. But yeah. God damn, dude. Do you, uh, how do, how do you feel now that you're out? Do you feel out the weeds? Or are you still kind of catching yes. up? Yes. No, yes, yes. Um, you know how we were talking about stress, anxiety, all those, those 10 words? Now I feel like, I think this summer is going to be fun. And like, happy you know at least that's what i'm gonna strive for i know uh, you're gonna be busy what's up with you bro you you've been you stayed honestly, busy that that uh that break didn't even feel like i for a bit when because i kind of figured like literally the week after you you fucking got fired and shit yeah i was like yeah i think we're not gonna record for at least two weeks because i'm like i'm sure he, he you know he needs to lock in and get his I shit i didn't think that initially i did i i kind of figured because i was like he's gonna kind of need to get his shit figured out i always like even if I'm busy, like I always, I mean, I'm always, I'm used to it anyway. So it's like I make, I figure it out either way. But I just kind of figured you weren't going to be in the mental state for it. Right, right. And I wasn't. No, and I, we tried, you know, we tried. And it would be like every other week. And then Hyder would hit me like, oh, what's up? And then finally I was just like, like, I think like two weeks later, I was like, no, you know what, dude? I don't, I'm not even in the mood for this shit right now. So yeah. So I kind of figured, but um, I, yeah, this last, what? It was like two, three weeks ago. But oh, I, it was the end of your month, the, the this semester. This whole month, I've been feeling like some hard ass burnout. The end of the semester was rough, but it, it's all rough. So even though I stay busy, and I don't want to get like fucking go crazy about our personal lives for right. too long. But um, the re so the reason why the end of the semester is so rough was also because I just while I'm busy, I also don't prioritize timing very. I don't mm. I don't prioritize very well. Like when I have time to sit down. Because I'm just so behind on work is what happens. I'm so behind on classwork that then I'm like cramming it all into the into end. One. So that just fucking, it, it's not, I don't necessarily get stressed out. It's just shit that I have to add on to the fucking board at the end of, of, of already busy day. Yeah. But are you the type of bullshit? I hate this bullshit because it's bullshit. But I, I, would, I would say too, like, oh, I work well under pressure. Like I work, I work well after I do, procrastinating. I do, I do work well under pressure. I do think so. Yeah. I wrote some pretty hard ass papers under pressure Chill. that i'm pretty proud of um but it's not ideal though i'm i'm sure i could do just as well with time and relaxation and stress-free but um so yeah those last couple weeks of the semester the henry's been getting busier yeah. and two shifts to like two jobs and shit like fuck that i was fucking dead yeah. dead 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 these like like the, the amount of days i've woken up with my eyes feeling heavy as fuck not cool so, so yeah, but I, I think I should be, I should be quite easy to prioritize right now. I'm already a little slightly behind on fucking summer school, but the summer school shit's like general ed. You said it's so online? It's, it's online too. So I'm not really too worried about it, but it moves quick though. So if you fall behind it, if you fall behind like a week worth, you're really falling back like four weeks worth. It's kind of, it's kind of a bitch. So that's how Adrian shit works. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dude, it's like a whole class in a month. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Like a whole course. Basically. So you just got to be on top of it. So. Right. Hey. So, so we could sweat, get away from our freaking personal. Well, that, that's been our life pretty much. Just to fill you guys in. Um, we're going to have new content. That's what Hyde and I were discussing right now before. Uh, we're going to come up with new shit. I want to 
I think I'm gonna just say fuck it. And I want to start getting people back in here as in guests that are not our friends. We'll see how that works out. I haven't even told Hyder that, but I think we can yeah, make no something clue. happen. You know. Uh, but drop frequency is gonna change a little bit. I was telling Miguel okay. I wanna I wanna hone in a little more on what like our actual quality of content. So. We're going to start dropping every two weeks. Um, and honestly, not e- to not pigeonhole ourselves, we'll try our best to keep it a consistent day. But, you know, schedules are different. You're not working the same shit you So you don't even know when you're working now, to be mm. honest with you. You have no consistency in oh, your yeah, schedule. Sh- yeah, it's all over. So it might not necessarily be the same drop day every week. But honestly, um, we... My the my uh, rationale to that is that we already tried doing it a certain way for what? Damn near. We're about to hit 100. No, it, we did it the two, same for a year. Bro. Two years. So... And it's not to like, how do I say it? Bash on ourselves? Bash, no, on, or anybody. But, you know, fucking the meat, the content game is crazy. Crazy, bro. Crazy out there. So, you know, so I don't think there's anything wrong with switching it up, switching up the strategy, style, the content, flow. the flow. You know, um, insanity is trying the same thing over and over, expecting different results. So let's, let's, let's fucking switch it up a little Who bit. Who said that? Jeffrey Epstein? <laughs> yeah, right? That's what he said to all little girls. <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein. Now we could add uh, King Drake to the list. Oh, okay. No, that was that was the what I wanted to do. Switch over. Now that was our personal lives. All the fucking shit that's happened in like pop culture and just like music I know. and everything in the past month, mo- a couple months, has been fucking insane, bro. Yeah, we got Diddy, we got Drake and Kendrick. Uh, that's just and that's just like music shit. There's uh, so so many good movies that have come out in the past couple months. Shit that we haven't seen yet that we want to see. Um, Where should we even start? Let, let's. I think. I mean. I think it's because it's fresher in memory. Um, and because shit just. I was just like looking at shit today. That shit's actually not stopping. But uh, the whole Drake Kendrick after. I don't think we have to go over it. I don't no, want no, to. no. We don't need to go over it. That shit's already settled. But just I'm saying more like the aftermath of everything is kind what of what have you heard recently? So today I j- so there's another an, uh, more recent um, reference track that leaked, like another Drake track written by somebody else. Okay. The mo- mob ties, you know mob ties. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the reference track for that leaked, um, or not leaked. Who the fuck did he copy now? So I think his name is. Oh, here it is. His name is Vori. He's probably from Atlanta or what? I don't know. Reminds me of Thug. That's insane, bro. And the craziest part was this. Watch. That's him. This is that. This is. Oh, that's Drake. This is like during the beef, and he's talking about this song. Mob ties. Sick of these niggas. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I didn't have mob ties. Oh, I'm sick of niggas. Oh, hot as hell. Yeah. He's, he's so corny, bro. He is corny. And I think, okay, so, but like, fuck what happened, what actually happened, right? Because everybody knows what happened. I think it's pretty, like, even the biggest Drake fans, it's kind of public consensus how the actual rapping ended up. Yeah. But I think just I think that's why so many people were kind of wanted to see this dude lose was because he's fu- he's a fucking he's a liar he's a cornball, and so my my main thing is I I actually okay so like you right do you do you give a fuck that Drake has people write his records no and like that's what that's my thing it, to make things clear also I still fuck with Drake I'm gonna still bump Drake bro. and I'm still gonna bump Drake everybody's still gonna bump Drake they take. They, online, they take it like too but my literal. thing so my thing is though I'm a big fucking rap fan like right. I'm a big rap fan and so my thing with the whole Drake shit is like I don't like him calling himself the especially now I never want to hear this fucker call himself the best rapper ever you're a fucking badass artist I've always said that I've said that shit for years now I'm like you're a fucking beast of an artist you're a bigger artist than Kendrick a thousand percent but you can't call yourself the best rapper no more you can never say that shit again because you can't rap, you, ha- you can't have people rap, write your shit bro you can't have people write your shit as a rapper I, f- bro Kanye gets his his he has people write for him all the time but Kanye never like says he's the best rapper he says he's the best artist that's my only thing 
And can, and, no, and like, Drake, saying that, Drake's that goat title that he's always saying, and as far as rap goes, fucking glazing him. Yeah. <coughs> the interesting thing out, out of all this too that I uh, that I found pretty interesting was how no, nobody came out to defend him, yeah, except man. Yachty and Twenty One, maybe. But also to say that he doesn't have his own, because like this, when people see this and like see how he just like be thiefing all foods. You can't say that he's also. Do you really think Drake has no creative? You no, know, I, I, that I don't. Like I don't capacity because yeah. he does. I mean, even the fact that he's able to make it. Um, he has his own records. I'm sure he's written plenty of good records on it. Like right, on his own. On his own. I'm, I'm not. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think he has no um, creative capacity. I just think when it comes to specifically, I'm saying specifically hip hop. It's like the pen and your lyrics matter. A fu- it's like a cult. It's like a craftsmanship kind of thing you know what i mean right so i think that in that sense it matters and it was just it was also cool just seeing like the quote-unquote biggest superstar get his ass whooped over nuts, over a couple tracks bro and and dude that fucking all the, the tracks are fire and bro. then all of them both sides they both popped off except the hard part six that shit was ass yeah, yeah, that's nice. the only track i didn't like the last one yeah not like us is popping off everywhere bro those lyrics are gonna haunt this fool for the rest of his life that A minor shit is insane. Have you seen like videos of people that out listening weird. to that shit and like there's the a, fucking the beat drops? <laughs> there's a dance to it now to that certain like a uh, verse, bro. And then let me tell <laughs> you, the, mu- the music video <laughs> hasn't even came out yet. Oh, there's there no, will be a music video. You think there is? There will be a music video. DJ Mustard. It's the, too much. It's too much money in the drop top. It's too much money behind um behind it for there not to not be a music video. Dude, and imagine the music It'll probably video. be a music video. Maybe we're going to get what uh, theor- uh, some theories I was reading. Is there might be like a West Coast remix. Yeah. With like YG, Joe, YG or like Schoolboy or, you know, people from the coast. Snoop. No, I mean, probably not Snoop. I wouldn't uh, think Snoop would do be What's his face? Fucking E-40 or something? Or yeah, some like corrupt or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> Tyga. Tyga on that bitch. Did you see what happened with Tyga and Travis? Oh, they got into a, they started. It, was, it wasn't him though. It wasn't Tiger. It, it, it was. Uh, it was Tiger's like homie slash uh, security guard or whatever the fuck. Hey, who's and Travis? Win- was like, who do you think is winning a scrap there with Tiger? And they've they've got they've gone down before one time a long time. Oh, ago. really? Yeah, and like at a private and like at a private house party. Is or it something. all over Kyle? So the beef has been there. Yeah, it is. The beef has been there forever. And then they got into this other altercation at whatever the fuck that was. It sounded. It looked like a listening party or something. I feel like I would take, I would take Tiger winning a scrap over Travis. Low key. To be well, Travis was beating that guy's ass, though. Travis was beating his ass. This shit was fire. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> he was beating it, the, the guy's ass. Was the ass. guy pretty big? I don't know. Like, you can't see. It's super dark. Also, you can't see. <laughs> but you, we know it's him. Damn. Like, witness. Yeah, you know I mean, witness. There was witnesses. That's just nuts. Yeah, the whole thing kind of took... It was just kind of crazy to, for it to actually go down after What's all these with, years. Yeah, like 21 and Travis. You know, they're also kind of connected with Drake. I think um, a lot of fuckers are fake with Drake, though, to be honest. Also, the same, like, giving the same shit back. Yeah. Um, you know, Drake's all fake. Try to win every. He's trying to, be, he tries to, like, portray himself to be the good guy so much. Yeah. And then, I mean, and, but it's also kind of obvious, like, that's why the, the last verse on Not Like Us kind of hit with the whole Atlanta shit, because yeah. he does be doing that, bro. Like, remember when he was doing. When he got like remember, remember, Gunna. Remember when he was doing all the. Baby. When, yeah, when he was doing all the drill shit, too, though, like. You never see him kicking it with no fucking UK artist no more. And it's, it's just, I don't know. It's kind of true, bro. There's a reason if if fucking a hundred motherfuckers are all gunning for the same dude that then they all used to be friends with him. It's kind of like the tide has turned to say the least, bro. But it's like that. Like I said, Drake will be back. Drake will probably have a couple summer hits. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know about this summer. Not this summer? I don't you think, think he's gonna, so, gonna take I think this? he's going to keep it on the low. You know who bro. I felt bad for, bro? I'm like, damn, bro. This fucking kid. Poor <laughs> Adonis. No, Adonis. Adonis oh, yeah. is over here having to hear his name dropped in like two crazy he ass doesn't diss know. Nah, he, he hasn't listened to the He'll hear it when he's grown bro. up, though. Just imagine hearing your dad. My, I love that line. Kendrick said, never let another man piss on your leg, son. I was like, damn. That, oh, that whole I, I read about that whole little thing, too. That story. There was a, like, I forgot about that. I remember yeah. Charlemagne had mentioned it. Uh, one of Ti's homies pissed on Drake's leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's crazy. Well, yeah, it's he was like all faded or something. That's crazy. I forget where I read this shit, but it was like, bro, well, how do you think a lot of these dudes are gonna feel 
it's a lot of it's also jealousy. I like I said, not necessarily Kendrick. I don't think Kendrick's jealous of him at all. But uh-huh. other dudes, it's like you go from seeing this like corny ass little light skinned dude from Canada playing like the wheelchair guy on Degrassi, and then next thing you know, you know he has all the girls, he has all the hits, he has all the BBLs. Hey, that's one thing though that I will say. He has all those and epic, I, and I uh, very much so agree with that shit. Is that like? A lot about him is really fake. And like now it's kind of, I don't know. I think it's kind of eerie in a sense to like, you see his face and it just looks very plastic now. Mm. It doesn't, I don't know. And and that's not a bad thing, you know, hey. He's just like a true. Hollywood guy, you know, like every other, that's how I imagine them all to be in reality. Actors too, you know, they always, but maybe the fact that it's because the, what people hate is that he tries to play both sides. Like this rich, pretty boy, but also trying to be a thug and like, yeah, that's the thing. Be like gangster and shit. That's what people hate. Like his false, like image. I guess. I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk. Hate the way that you dress. He flamed him, bro. He did flame him. I was proud. I was a proud. I was a proud fan. So with Kendrick, you think he's gonna drop anything else? Probably not. Uh, he'll. I feel like he'll drop. Is there gonna be an album soon? You know what? What um. What it didn't bother me, but what it kind of impressed me and kind of made me like, damn, bro, like you make us wait, is that he made all these tracks within like a week time span. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not like us. He probably he definitely wrote at least like the second verse. How to have written that with huh? No, well, no. The and the only reason I say no is because he's he uh, he referenced the Family Matters song. Mm. He said the Family Matters is. God's plan to show y'all the liars, some shit like that. And that song dropped the night before, bro. So yeah. he like finished he that verse within like the he probably had he definitely had the skeleton for the song ready, mm-hmm. like the, and the, the chorus, like the hood. Beat, all that, yeah, yeah. He probably had all that idea kind of sketched out. He probably finished it within 24 hours, though. Which is insane that the this fastest dude, Kendrick's ever worked. <laughs> that's the thing though, is that like this dude made so many dope ass songs within like you know, a couple days and You're it's saying, like, why can't he do more of it? I'm like, shit, bro. But quality, quality over quantity. We're just talking about it. It's like, jail. I got influence. And I did. No, bro. It made me be like, damn. Cause so the story with him is that supposedly he, uh, they kept saying, it's probably a joke, but he was definitely in Brooklyn though. Like he was in New York while uh, he was doing oh, all was this. Ready? And the, you know, what's insane too. You never saw him anywhere. There was never like any, like, Oh, Kendrick's, here like there was we never saw his actual face yeah like ever, drake and you know ever. drake's all out and shit and that's fine it's just kind of crazy that you never got to see him once while he's doing all this bullshit like the grim reaper bro it's straight up and um it just made me be like damn bro i want to be this level of hater bro just lock in or just that level of focus like they said that he let like he fucking sent his wife and kids off to like go vacation and shit he's like mm. i need a he's like, yeah i need some time and i'm just like damn just i like just pick my visuals just picturing him in like a fucking studio with Drake's face somewhere and shit and just <laughs> throwing darts at it and just making like just fucking lock the fuck in probably like barely eating and shit for like 24 48 hours and just recording create like the focus so crazy. okay so safe to say also that Drake didn't make him come out oh shout out put some shout out to both gentlemen <laughs> shout out to both gentlemen like you know all, allegations aside which I wouldn't be surprised yeah, if that's even, some, I don't even want to touch that shit fuck allegations yeah f- all allegations aside we got great music we fucking you got you know you got a moment in hip hop and now like hella people are dropping like albums and shit that's that's tight like you can you can really ask for nothing better beautiful you got the BBL Drizzy song going hard someone got shot at the OVO crib two people got or no yeah one got shot and then a second person almost got shot I think that's your boy Abel though yeah shout out X you're a are you X O A if you had to take your pick bro no that fucking Drake line on him though had me uh, on oh the, rolling. Dude, he went in on that fool. And I was like, no, stop fighting. That's the real hate. They said Rocky shit. I like that. I like that whole the second oh, he half flamed of the Rocky. He goes in. He flamed Rocky and the weekend. I think Rocky low key got the heart, the meanest bars thrown at him, though. <laughs> he caught the hardest strays. I, I do think the weekend and Drake probably have like the hardest beef though out of everybody. Like like actual, like like they yeah, actually well, they might mean, hate each it's other. It's coming to fucking shootings and shit at the pad. That's nuts. That's nuts. Shout Who out are you Cash. signing with, Light Skin? Oh, with them too? Yeah. Weekend all day, bro. Fuck Drake. Come on. XO? XO. Chill. I wonder I wonder what he's supposed to be dropping soon. He's been in the stew. Hey, imagine you say that. This drops two weeks later. This place gets shot up. <laughs> <laughs> I do, yeah. From Drake. Drake's goons. 
not like exa- exactly talking about work, but how does it feel, <laughs> dude? That shit had me dying. There's so much drama there. Holy these little shit. homies call you unk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked. Uh, that so, is so crazy. So I needed a job desperately. I love all those motherfuckers. I just ho- hooked it up. I'm in. Uh, Who is it? The group Manny chat? calling the group chat. I'm not going to answer. Uh, and they got me in, but I'm in as a back server. That's just like a bus, bus boy fucking, you're, run, you're running food and a bar back. Um, for anyone that knows, I was bartending for the past four years, so I'm still trying to get into that, by the way. Anyways, uh, but yeah, so I'm working with like younger guys. They're young. They're like 20, 21, 22, maybe. Yeah. Anyways, the 20 year olds fucking on Friday, I was working with them and they, and they, they were like, Oh, like they were just asking me questions about me, you know, whatever. And I was like, Oh yeah. Like I used to bartend whatever. And they're like, wait, like how old are you then? And I'm like, Oh, I'm 25. And they were like, both of them, they were like, damn. Like, oh, you're like old as hell. We should call you Unk. And I was like, bro, are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> you know, that's like a trend right now. It's a stupid trend. Like, when, what, at what age do you reach Unk status? Apparently, nowadays, it's at 25. So that's ridiculous. Dude, yeah, that shit we were, is crazy. And then they were just all clowning. And then a- Andrew jumped in on it, too. Andrew was hilarious. Uh, but yeah, it was funny. And then they called Mo Unk, t- Unk number two. That's crazy, bro. You guys are the uncles. So, yeah. I love all those I guess dudes, I'm though. old as fuck. All those dudes fucking... I love them. They're, they're all they're, they're all fucking... And now they work hard as shit. They do. And they also... Yeah, they, they are good workers. That That is one thing that I appreciate from everyone there is that everyone knows how to hone in. You know, lock in. Yeah, those guys are fucking... Those guys are good. They're fucking good. I just... The unk shit, I just couldn't. You were dying. I, right? like, yes, I just couldn't. Look for, they've known me for a minute, so they never... They've, like, never brought that shit up. I don't think they, like... <laughs> I don't think they like no though. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, they don't, yeah. Well, like I'm already older to them, I guess maybe because I am a server, so yeah, it's like yeah. whatever. So they don't like. Yeah, it was the more of the fact that I was a fucking that yeah, you were doing the same server, thing as them yeah. and shit. They're like, what up, uns? It's like, fuck you, dude. That's so crazy. Anyways, yeah, but it's fun. It's great. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm working. Uh, anyways, back. I wanted to try like ask you this earlier, but with the whole like fucking not not to come in, come back to dark times, but mm. with the whole unemployed shit. What was did you like ever consider gaming all day <laughs> straight up just streaming just becoming a streamer dude i do I, I think that's fun i think especially with the crew that we play with watch you guys should stream we should someone should someone should i mean i don't know how long you guys would last before you like get shut down though but now yeah that's the thing uh with streamers nowadays you have to have your own shtick you know like you have to have either a personality for example sketch or a, a jinxie Jinxy. you know but they're, I mean, goes to show Jinxie's young. I think he's like 21, 22. And that motherfucker literally brought us back, like the, the people I've been playing with, back to the game. You guys would get canceled real see. quick, though. We would get in, fucking, in yeah, we're, If anyone that knows, gaming, like the gaming world is insane. How people communicate online through that is insane. Yeah, it's you like, guys would last You go to long. jail, you know? You guys would have to have like pre-shift meetings where you start gaming about... <laughs> Get, get, about what not to get say. All, get all the improper words out of your system and then just <laughs> yeah. hop on there and shit. Uh, but anyways, did you ever like consider fucking when it was like down bad? Like, did you ever think about like Uber Only Eats fence? or any of that shit? Oh. Or that too, yeah. I mean. Yeah. Uh, not for like, what went through your head when you dead ass week, like couldn't find work? You like, the fuck. third week. The third week, I was like, bro, I need to do something. And then I was able to, oh, that got me a little bit, <laughs> like not on my feet, but it helped me fucking buy groceries when I worked at a event, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, Which also, if anyone's interested... Hey, I'm working. I might be working Bello's uh, wife's baby shower. Oh, coming nice. Up that you know what I mean that they're gonna hire me for. So if anyone needs a like private bartender, hit me up because I'm down. Wow, just hit me up. I have rates. We should do that. Yeah, we should do that. That'd be fun. Uh, we had talked about that already before, like buying a portable bar. Yeah, like just like that. a little thing. There's businesses blowing there up is. with that shit. That's now. pretty cool. I'm down. Just pull up on people. Yeah. I think you just need to be certified. Verify what. The RBS certification, the stupid alcohol, uh, California thing. Oh, I mean, I already have it. You probably have it, yeah. But I think, so I think the regulation for that has to be like, You're they, supposed to get a license. Too. They have to buy your liquor. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you can't sell them liquor, but you can sell them the service of preparing their liquor or their booze, whatever. Exactly. Um. Anyways, so what, did, did anything ever cross your mind, like, when you were down bad looking for work? Um. 
At one point, Becca was like, dude, just start, like, door dashing or, like, uh, Uber Eats. It's like, you just apply and, like, it's you're ready to go type shit. Yeah, did you think about it? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Bro, that shit. Like, bro, it was like, literally, I was, like, struggling. And that's when Mo called me. And he's like, bro, whatever. Troy this, Troy that. And I was like, okay. And I was like, just like that. Yeah, Uber Eats, dude, doing Postmates was ass. I can't even imagine now how much with gas and all you that stuff. That? Oh, I did Postmates. What the fuck? When? I could have sworn you got bro during the pandemic. Oh, you did before we got unemployment. Is that before or after when you worked? I used at to Starbucks do it for, for fun when I, for, for like, like a, for like three weeks. <laughs> no, that was before that. Oh yeah, that was way before. before. I I did it like a couple times for like just well when I just wanted extra cash. I was like, oh, I'll just do Postmates. Would it, would it be extra cash though? Honestly, or is it so from what I like remember, you just make tip money. No, nah, you get paid. You get paid. It was like. If I um, tracked it properly, I'm sure it would have been a, a plus, but I didn't track well. So, yeah, I think you have to be more strategic. I think I think it was fine. I think overall I made I did okay. And then you're talking about gas, though, but too. the gas is kind of like the fucker there, you know. Okay. The only thing, the shit that made me never do it again, though, I think this was the last time I ever did it. But the most annoying part about Postmates was that. Um, People want you to fucking go to their stupid ass apartment complexes and go like inside and go inside and go up to meet them. So it would be like the couple times I ever did like little Italy deliveries, whatever. So I had one of oh, the, like in the big building. Yeah. So the last time I ever did Postmates, I remember the it was like I picked up like Greek food, okay. like kebabs and shit. Yeah. And dude wanted me to go up all the way upstairs, whatever. So I I park, oh, I and find parking down. somewhere. I think. No, I don't even think I parked. I just fucking like the flashers. Emergency lights. I go and I can't get the pin to get into a stupid ass complex because he, he didn't, didn't text he, you? He, he didn't put it there. So I'm like contacting, contacting, nothing. So then I just fucking I'm like, yeah, fuck like you. Mid, he's like mid fuck. Yeah, probably. Mykonos. And then uh, five minutes later, I just <laughs> sorry. Go ahead. The office reference, bitch. <laughs> and so five minutes, yeah. So I like to fucking drive off, and then he's like hitting me up all pissed, and I just like. Cancel, bitch, and I just kept the stupid kept the ass food. kebabs. Hey, yeah, what to... happens with that? You had to pay. No. What do you say that you couldn't reach him or? Yeah, I said the guy was being. Yeah, so he just gave me a bad review, and then I think, I think you just get like a, like, like a warning, you're like a warning a or whatever. But I was like, fuck you, I'm not doing this again. Fresh. That shit was not worth it. And then they came through with unemployment, so I didn't have to do that shit. <laughs> yeah. Shout out Trump. <laughs> and then, uh, so that was that. But hey, you know, you know, you should have, you could have also done. Could have done the. Ass you right could have done the, the Home Depot unemployment. What the, the Home Depot um, homies? The, the homies outside. Racist man. How how is that racist? That is not racist. So those who don't have green cards or like licenses to work, I do. I you know so um, yeah. anytime because I have to drive by. I get the, lucky. Nah, it, shout I, out to those dudes. No, listen, bro, fuck, no, no, they're dick. hard workers. I'd get lucky and I'd get pulled up on on the guy that picks him up and like takes him to Disneyland and shit. <laughs> oh, like that home? Yeah, I know. Nah, don't be a dick. Those guys are hard workers. But you know what I will say though? I don't know why, but maybe it's just like my brain sometimes. So I have to drive because I go to the gym right there by by where they by that Home Depot. So I will always see them like every time, and I'm always like every now and then. Like I remember one time I had a I had gotten a new fan and I needed to install it. And I was like, bro, I really like should I just. You know, offer some dude like a hundred bucks. That's a lot to yeah. install this fan or whatever. They would like. Too. I wouldn't actually do it, but it crossed my mind because I don't like doing shit like that. I was like, ah, this kind of sucks. <laughs> and so I was like, I'm like, but wait, what if like I don't know? This is just my brain being like extra like imagination, I guess. But I was just like, has anybody ever picked up one of these dudes and that should just go south? south yeah. Like I don't know. Like, what if you bring him into your house and next thing you know, he just starts like beating your ass and he just steals your shit. Oh, your shit. Or, or no. I don't know. I don't know. Or like, you know, it's what not even. That? It's not even just uh, Mexican people too. I think oh no, it's like a, African immigrants and shit. Yeah, too, that pull all, up all kinds. There's like I see white dudes there all the time yeah, now too. Yeah. Like it's just a little bit. There's people that you. Know, I mean, don't have a can't get a job. I guess you would say. There's so many avenues now though. There's like Task Rabbit, mm. I think, or. I don't know. I'm sure there's other apps. There's an app like a to hint. pick up a bartending or like server. Shit oh, stuff. yeah, yeah. Did you ever look at that? No, I did. I tried. Uh, it didn't work out. And then, yeah, just stupid shit like that, bro. I was all over the place. Imagine you should have started. Speaking of webcamming. You, you should have done. Yeah, you could have done. Uh, like feet, show the, my butthole or whatever. The feet stuff, maybe. Does that work for dudes? 
You get you get pedicures pretty regularly. Oh, I know. Huh? Yeah, I do. I do get pedicures. Would you be in it? What? I don't know. Sucking a toe or something. For cash? Would you be in an OnlyFans video? Honestly? Hiding your face? I wouldn't care. If if I got paid for it, yeah, sure. Yeah, no, yeah. She's like gives you a portion or whatever. That'd be sick. Yeah, but I'd like I'd like want to see like the stats, like how much, <laughs> like mean? oh, like or, like what the money into from that like, one video. Buying? Yeah, yeah. I don't want just like I, yeah. You need you to know. get some sort of like yeah. That's fine. I just never I never watch. Like I just yeah. Why not? Yeah. You know. Like, yeah. Just it. get the cash for it. I do it. Set up the camera, baby. Like that. Would you use this one? No, no. I don't want dirty stuff on that. No? There's never been dirty stuff on that camera, by the way. Really? Yes. No, I'm a good boy. You they keep that that shit's uh that shit sacred? <laughs> yeah, look. Oh you... No, yeah, there's never been dirty stuff on that camera. Uh so at some point we have to watch Planet of the Apes before that shit leaves the theaters. But so I re I rewatch them because honestly Dude, they're fire. I think I only got you're the one that introduced me, so I watched the second and the third one. You never watched the first one? No, uh, I did. I just didn't remember it to be honest. Yeah, yeah. So I rewatched all of them, and I'm like, these movies hit because they're low key real, just yeah. you know, with monkeys. But like on a, a lot of levels, you know what I mean. Caesar, for example, is basically Drake. He brought everybody, <laughs> he brought everybody up with him, and then everybody just started, everybody just started turning shooting on him. Everybody just started turning on Shout Caesar. Out Cobra. Caesar, dude. No, yeah, those movies are great. And then the, you know, that's a Matt Reeves, right? Yeah, the first one. Oh, the other ones are? Yeah, they are. They the all third are. one's not Matt Reeves. No? Nope. No, I know this one isn't. This one's definitely not, yeah. Mm. This one's a, so I guess this one's a whole other set of apes. Uh the main monkey is like a descendant? A descendant of Caesar. But yeah, it's like years. I kinda hate that I saw cause I forgot that Caesar died. Spoiler, I guess, if anybody hasn't watched any of them. Yeah, he does die. Yeah, he sacrificed himself, right? He has a full blown family at the in the third one, huh? Yeah, like families. Kids, whatever the fuck. Two kids? Hella families. This is so realistic. Like, the actual concept, like, that's what would... I mean, that shit, that's what humans did. They fucking evolved. They started learning shit, and they just turned into assholes. And that's basically what happened. And now they're, like, flipping it. You see all the humans are, like, the... It's like the Humans Neanderthal. are the animals, yeah. yeah and then the apes cool. are the fucking... And I heard it's good, too. I heard it's really good. I bet you it is. Sure. They're, they're all good. Like, I don't know. They're just... I don't know. Who doesn't want to watch fucking apes taking over the world? That young actress that's in it, I think she's going to blow up too. Really? Yeah, she, I think she's British. But yeah, just another young actress beasting out. Any, any, uh, Anything else you got in mind right now? Uh, no. Excited for the summer, like I said. Hopefully, hopefully we have, besides our busy lives and all the bullshit, hopefully we can do some Something cool. fun things. We're 25. Or reach. I'm not even talking about partying. I mean, oh, are you going to Vegas? I'm a, oh, I'm going to go to That's Vegas. Shout out Nico. He's been on the pod before. But yeah, it's going to be his 21st. And we're going to go to Vegas for a weekend. And I've never been. So, catching at the strip club eating a uh, steak dinner. Sheesh. That's one of Nico's birthday wishes, apparently. You know, so you eat steak dinner at a, at strip, a strip club? club yeah. Nico? Imagine that, dude. She's like, she's like <laughs> having a little tomahawk or whatever. <laughs> A little tomahawk steak. So yeah, it'll be fun. And my, I'm going with my whole family, so it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. Dude, so um, side note, a little bit of sports. Oh yes, bro. What's up with the finals? Are we getting there? Yeah, the Mavs are should should sweep today. They should sweep the Timberwolves. But no, I'm talking about my Beaner Sports, bro. Because America just took the chat the chip back the to day. back, back to back. But bro, that's only. So I'm not gonna lie. My cousins Loki hate me for this, but I so the 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 only fandom that I kind of question being not being a part of it because I love the team to death, but you know sometimes we got to be real is real, and being an America fan it's a little questionable because we're kind of like when Sussy. we're when we're winning we're kind of like the Patriots. Sussy. So the other day we won on a penalty kick. So we so well prior context America has been that by the way this was the worst this America Cruz Azul final. Probably the worst set of games I've ever like finals game I've Scoreless ever seen. Scoreless Oh, shit? just boring. Both yeah. teams were dog shit. Tell me, one by a penalty kick. Um, a very, very, very questionable penalty. I was gonna kick. ask, was it a clear penalty? So no, not at all. It was a stu- So it was a stupid ass foul. Like it was a dumb ass foul, just because it was a stretch. Did he slide? He slid. It looks like he hit the ball first, but his studs were up. I think it's open to interpretation. I personally hate 
a finals game being decided by a penalty, like a, a foul, yeah. one penalty. Like if it was like a one one, and then the two one was the penalty penalty kick. I'm like, all right, cool. Like each team did their thing, but or maybe if they tied it with the penalty kick, when, yeah. Cool. But winning off a penalty kick is like, man, that's kind of whack. And so I'm like, damn, bro. Like being a fan, sometimes it's just like, oh, you guys, we do kind of get helped out by the referees sometimes. Not even gonna lie, but we're the biggest winning motherfuckers. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. You can't forget about the whole season, though. They're, they're into- oh, no, they were beast all season. But the thing was, too, the, the kind of shitty part was like, so so they so they got their cheeks clapped by um, Pachuca in a, in a different tournament here in the States. Like, in a, no, no, North American tournament, whatever. Yeah, yeah. They got uh, clapped by Pachuca. So then they go back to Mexico to play the, the, the playoffs mm-hmm. against Pachuca again. again. And we literally pass, and this is a shitty ass rule in Mexican soccer. I don't know why the fuck it's a rule, but if you're the higher seed, yeah, if you tie, you win. Oh, that's dumb. So we were losing. We were getting wrecked. We were getting clapped again, and we managed to tie in the 97th minute. And, up. and because it was a uh, because of that you rule, guys, we won. Oh, so Pachuca fans. Yeah, but so we didn't win. Technically, we didn't win. We tied, but. We won because of that rule. Yeah. So that was kind of whack. We didn't get to beat those fools, and then we barely scraped by Chivas. So honestly, we were kind of ass this last month. Mm-hmm. But it's all good, hey. The dub's all that matters, I guess. But all I'm yeah, saying bro. is questionable. Dodgers ring type beat. Is that is that what that's like? Yeah, COVID. Because they won during COVID. There was less games. It was all drama. Didn't the Dodgers win not too long ago as well? Or am I oh, crazy? It was the COVID one. Have the only that, is that the only Super Bowl? I mean, the only Super Bowl. No, they've had Jesus before, Christ. But they've had no, no, no. I know, but like, re- like, recent, is that the most history? recent one? Yeah, COVID really? And they're like an all star team, bro. I hope they don't fucking make it this year too with all the money. How are we doing? Spend. How are the Padres doing? Uh, whatever. They're like Padres. They're one, doing. One, they're doing Padres three, stuff. Yeah. Really um, dude, our San Diego FC team. Oh shit, you're low key the random one that's been actually Sending keeping me updated with that. That's kind of weird. I just get them randomly. Dude, we're about to set up like a super team. What's here. up with that? Is that possible money wise? Yeah, think? yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And also, you have to think about it. Like, they're going to be there every fucking week. I already signed up for season tickets. <laughs> uh, I already put down a deposit. Not a, not a depo- It's not a season ticket deposit. It's like a deposit. A member holder or whatever. A member holder so they can hit you up to get season tickets. I already signed up. Are you kidding me? Bro, the like the fact that I have a I'm like a thousand percent sure they're gonna get one big one big ass name player, at least. European? We're getting one my my best guess is we're getting one Euro and one Mexican. I'm probably thinking Ochoa uh-huh. or uh Chucky Lozano from um that plays in Is he a forward? Yeah, he's playing in Europe right now. And we're for and who does he play for? I think he plays in the Netherlands. PS he plays for PSV. Yeah. Um we're getting one of those two, and then... Who do you play for in Mexico? Pachuca. Yeah. Pachuca, yeah. And then uh, we'll probably get one of Ramos or Kevin De Bruyne. Would Ramos be. would be insane. Ramos be insane. or Kevin De Bruyne. I'd rather, honestly, I'd rather get Kevin De Bruyne right now, TBH. Ramos is washed, you'd say? No, no, Ramos, I mean, he's a, he's going to center back. He'll do work. But uh, Kevin De Bruyne just won the Premier League with Manchester City, so that would be... Oh, I was going to ask who won that after all. Yeah, Manchester City. So, hey, whoever we get... San Diego's just... It makes sense, bro, for soccer. San Diego's a... It's an attractive city, and it's a big bean town, so... Yeah, bro. And honestly, all... And since we're, like, we're San Diego, all the little... All the little... uh, All the white families want their little kids to play soccer because it's safer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, bro, when I went to that San Diego Wave game, it was all white moms with their kids. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of cool. There's always a crowd, bro, for that shit, for soccer. There's always going to be forever and ever. Shout out to the, the world ends. Shout out to football, bro. All the time. Mm. How are we looking at? Mm. Oh, we're good. Um, got plenty of time left. Yeah. Well, not plenty, but we got time. What was I going to talk about? Uh, shout out all the people that hit us up or have talked to us about like when the podcast was coming back and stuff. That was really nice. Um, Kind of made me want to... You know what I mean? Get back into it. So shout out you guys. You know who you are. Oh, yeah. huh? People were like, yeah, they were asking like, what's the, where's the alley? Shout out the people that have been making moves, bro. Uh, we just saw Donovan out uh, last week. Uh, at a, he, had a, he had a gig. He had a set here in North Park, and it was lit. Super fun. Always show support. Shout out Devin. She just released a new song. 
that we haven't even we haven't had a chance to fucking talk about. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so shout out Devin. Go make sure you tune into that. We'll repost it because I don't think we have. I haven't been on the fucking. I haven't account. been. I haven't been on Instagram in a minute. Um, but yeah, shout out you guys. I think I think it's a good leave off note. This was just this was just a, a summary. Honestly, we just needed to get our feet back Recap. in the water. It's been a while. It was nice. Nice. Um, Good to be back. Yeah, no, yeah, for sure. And we'll 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 stay. We'll keep up. We'll keep you all updated. We'll probably have some fun things planned for this summer. Hopefully, some cool ideas that we actually get to execute this time around. We, could, we should do some vlogging. What does that shit say? What does that say? Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Oh, cutie. Anyways, guys, thank you for listening. From your two unks. <laughs> Hate that. Don't stop with that shit, man. Yeah, we're unks, bro. Uh, I'm, the, I'm cool to be an unk, bro. What the fuck? No, no, we don't even have kids yet. I ain't no young man no more. Follow us on our socials. We're on uh, X, TikTok, and Instagram at the Alley Podcast. I don't know if we'll be on TikTok for much longer, brother. Why? I, think, I don't know. What if we gets banned? Oh yeah. Let's come up with our own uh, our own platform. Media. Yeah, platform. It uh, happened to lapse, bitch. Remember you said it was gonna catch on. You take no, another one. The people still post. I haven't been. Bitch. Nobody uses that it? shit. Yeah. Yes, I still have it, but and I check on it like once every month. Literally, nobody's on that shit. Shit's. You were. You were. Uh, I was a cap. You were. Yeah. You were wrong. You missed with that one. Yeah, man. Anyways, but yeah. Uh, we're also uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe on YouTube, and uh, listen to us on Spotify, Apple, uh, Apple Podcast, everything. We're on everything. You already know what's up. The album coming soon. What? Four twenty four. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> uh, shout out Drake, BBL Jersey for Whoa. the yeah. From your once again, peace out from, from your two, number one hater from your two favorite unks, <laughs> Unk Migs and Unk Hyde, Uncle Hyde. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Later.